left here! It's got me left here, Rory! Hello, welcome back to the channel. You join us on, what day is it? Wednesday, it is two o'clock, and we are heading to the Nürburgring with Big Pete, an empty trailer, because we need to go pick up the Jaguar and fill my V6 powered MX-5 that's had a whole bunch of little jobs doing to it to make him track ready, little bit pokier, and hopefully more reliable as well. Mm. Hopefully, because yes. if it's not reliable, you do realize we have to leave another car at the Nürburgring. Yes, it won't be Phil. No. It will well, be, it'll mm. be Big Pete. I'm leaving Big Pete there. And if Big Pete breaks, we're all <laughs> we're just we're just not in a good way. Indeed. So we're gonna load Phil up on the trailer because we've got an empty trailer, we might as well put Phil on. And head to Belgium first to the Ebis budget, which is very, very budget, but they do have beers. They've got a nice bar. Yeah. Indeed. And then tomorrow morning we head to the Nürburgring to pick up the Jag and for Phil to take revenge on the Nürburgring because last time Phil was there. The engine was a little bit. He did a bit blowy up, here, didn't he? And didn't it leak a load of oil on? Oh, the floor? everywhere, everywhere, mm. everywhere. So hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, we are running out of time, so join us on the road trip. <laughs> After a couple of hours on the motorway, we arrived at the port of Dover, where, despite this shot of a DFDS ferry, we were in fact crossing with P&O. And much to the disgruntlement of Taylor, there was no beef render available, only below average burgers that had the consistency of old brake pads. But anyway, we arrived in Belgium a few hours later for some shut eye. You join us on Thursday morning. It's just gone 8 a.m. We are now taking this beautiful rig to the Nürburgring. And tonight, I'm going to be driving Phil on the ring. And we're going to do something while we drive along. We are going to be doing one more thing as well. We are going to be recording the Auto Alex podcast from Big Pete because we've run out of time. Yes. And we need to do it because there's so many people who depend on us. They don't, they're just really bored driving their cars. They want to listen to some familiar voices. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to film the podcast in Big P. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, All sounds right. good to me. Let's, Let's go. On. I'll try not to hit anything. Oh, Christ. Rory. Rory. I've got some news. Yes, Taylor. I've bought my first motorbike. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> not only that, you've bought my trailer as well. Yes. That's why I'm looking for a new trailer. I've bought my first motorbike. And <laughs> Rory's face! So this is. <laughs> you're going to evaporate. This is a very you rare. You don't even have a license. I saw a comment the other day, which was hilarious. Which is, uh, what is it? It was something like, "Is Rory's dad just really rich and then just bankrolls the whole of Auto Alex? Because that must be the only reason that Alex still keeps him on. Because I, I can't think of another reason. <laughs> I can't that either. Was, to be fair, that was actually that was actually written by your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have just arrived in Ardenau near the Nürburgring. As you can see, behind us is Lenz Abschleppdienst, which is the company that takes our cars off the track when they, uh, when they break down or crash or whatever. The reason we're here is because we decided to park the Jaguar in a car park opposite Flansgarten, which is where the engine decided it didn't want to engine anymore. We left it there, thought everything would be okay. Turns out it wasn't because Misha phoned me up and he said, the car's been stolen. So I had to phone like the council who then led me here. And then I spoke to the people at Lens and then they said, yes, we have your car. It's going to cost you 200 euros that could, we took it away. And then it's 15 euros every single day that it's here. So that was last week. So I'm going to have a bill of like, I don't know, 300 euros or so. So in the meantime, we're going to take fill off the trailer and then wait for the boss to come back. He's going to be about 20 minutes. And then, yeah, get the Jaguar, which is probably behind those gates over there. Pop it on the trailer and then back and to then... the gantry. With Phil unloaded and the Jag now on the trailer, I thought it would be a good idea to try and start the XK8 one last time. Yeah? It's not going to start. Wait, wait for it. It just needed to cool down. Come on, Tina. We could drive it home. Imagine. I would say it doesn't start. No. With the Jaguar still definitely dead, Phil's tyres were bedded in. Or so I thought, in the 10 minutes it took to drive from the recovery company back to Apex. It is now, um, it's D-Day. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. I have, not, I have not driven Phil on the Nürburgring for, I don't know, seven years? And the mm, last time I did drive Phil, um, the engine was very, very unhappy. So I would say I'm going to take it easy, but I'm not. Because what we're going to do is, 
slow driver, fast car versus fast driver, also very fast car, but we've got all of you guys in it. Yeah. And the driver of that car is the king of the Nürburgring. It's Misha. I, I always like, I'm going to start blushing and stuff. And okay, go. Empty. Blush. <laughs> We're gonna Are you shit. blushing or shitting? <laughs> <laughs> this is your daily driver, isn't it? Yes. So tell me about it. So this is a Polestar 2. It's a performance pack version. This means uh, two motors, so all-wheel drive. Uh, it has also Erlen suspension and uh, Brembo big brake kit, which is quite unusual for uh, an EV that comes in stock form. 406 horsepower. So uh, what, what engine has this got in it? Uh, two it, motors. This will be a 2.5 turbo, a 5 pot, won't it? Oh, is this yeah. a 5 Oh, well, yeah, it's a Volvo. Yeah, yes, yeah. Oh, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing then, we have to pivot this again. We're doing slow driver, medium fast car versus fast driver, fast car. But however, EVs, so the Ooh. car will usually overheat by, or like the, not the car, the battery will uh, get hot and it will only offer about 50 percent of performance okay halfway through the lap all right okay so the first and we have a lot of weight because yes. the car is what are you saying Misha? so why don't we do it this way i'll go out first yes and i will try and hold you off okay <clears throat> and if i can how many corners are there on the nervo well they say 73. if i can keep you behind me for 15 corners would I that think... be fair yeah so let's go out and I will try and keep you behind me for as long as possible. Sound good? Yeah. And who's buying dinner afterwards? Uh, you. I think it's about your time you paid. Actually, yeah. You've been paying all the time. I have, yeah. yeah so, but you have so many brand deals. Who's the sponsor for this video for you? Uh, it's actually you, Misha. Is it? Yeah. Actually, no. This episode is sponsored by Car Vertical, which is the only name you need to remember to check that a car hasn't been crashed, stolen, or clocked. To give you an example of a car vertical report that gives me no cause for concern, check out the car vertical report for this Jaguar XJ, which happens to belong to Rory now. More on that soon. I've checked it and as you can see, we've got green ticks for theft, mileage, finance and damage that tells me that this car is not a ringer. And now to give you an example of a car vertical report that uh, makes me quite nervous, check out this Porsche 911. We've got green ticks for theft and mileage and amber warnings for finance and damage. So we want to check that out. And in some instances on car vertical, you get pictures. So if you scroll down a little bit, we can see here. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we have a front engine Porsche 911. We need to investigate that. Let's keep on scrolling. It has been crashed monumentally. All the airbags have gone off. And as we can see, the engine from the rear is now in the front. So whatever happened there, the engine has disappeared and then been placed very delicately in the in the front, which is very, very interesting. As you can see, this car is an absolute total write-off. So uh, yeah, if you were to see this anywhere for sale as a clean car, then you know it's a fat lie. So then do yourselves a favor and make sure you run a car vertical report on any car or motorbike you want to buy. What's more, to sweeten the deal, you will get 10% off using the code AUTOALEX. Right then, let's get back to it. Hi, here we go. Back at the Nürburgring for another lap. Infill, the rematch. Let's, uh... Let's see how we do, shall we? Let's rock and roll, Misha. We can try. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he was just like, he's going to overtake me anyway. He might as well just go. Come on, Phil. Sorry, I'm not going to be very talkative because all fresh tyres, so many more excuses. But the tyres are definitely quite slippy. Wow, this is quick! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we only have 406 horsepower because the car before I had it, it had a software upgrade, which had 476. Yeah. But... Oh! Okay, the motion sickness is beginning, Rory. <laughs> it's there! <laughs> oh, Holy crap! <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> it just launches oh, out of God. corners! Wow! It's like being in a slingshot. You just come out of a corner and it's <laughs> poof! There comes Misha. He's already behind me. He's behind me! Oh, my seatbelt 
it's got me to it. It's got me left to it, Rory. It's, it's got me to it. Oh, it's dragging me in. It's getting even tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's suffocating me. He's right on my chuff. Come on, Misha. There he goes! Evening fella, <laughs> having a nice trip to the pub. <laughs> Phil does not feel, oh God, Phil does not feel good at all at the moment. Something smells quite burny. Temps all look okay though. Oh, oh evening. <laughs> Phil feels a little bit loose on the rear. Wait, it's look, that, I love that. The power coming out of the corners is fantastic. Oh. oh my God. Elmish. Oh, it's so bloody hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, I'm having fun. I'm just going to take it a wee bit more slowly. I'm going to pull this roof handle out of the yeah. roof for this second. <laughs> okay, so we're now having only a maximum available 80% of the power. Because yeah, I can feel it's getting, dropped a bit. Yeah, yeah, we're getting hot now. Yeah, I am also getting hot now. <laughs> hot, hard and dangerous, Misha. Oh, oh my. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, yeah, this is fun now. Right, keep up in. <laughs> hey. Right, we're going in. We're into the carousel. Whoa! Whoa! Get out of my way! That was good. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Little bit of a four wheel slide. Oh yeah. Got, oh yeah, oh, a bit of curbage, yeah, you pay for it, use it, there we go. <laughs> I like this bit, this is a good bit. Does this get air? Oh, oh a little bit, oh no, my seatbelt's doing it again. <laughs> it's trying to kill me again, Rory. It's got me left nipple. <laughs> Don't get cocky. Thank you, Misha. That was very good fun. Your car did try and kill me on multiple occasions. No, it just gave you a very tight hug. A tight hug? Yes. Me, I've never had a hug like that in my life. Right, so we've just got back from the lap. Uh, you guys and the pole star, me and Phil. How I, was it? Because yeah, oh, when we went past you, I noticed a bit of joie de vivre. There was a little bit of, sort yeah. of floatiness going on. So, uh, power is good, brakes are good, everything else, terrible. Why? Well, this the is weather is good. The weather is good. Very the driver good, yeah. is good. Well, oh, I don't know about that. Although I do feel like I know the Nurburgring a bit better now. Yeah. Uh, the suspension, the handling, dog shit. Absolute dog but shit. I think that's just because of the setup, isn't it? It is 100% it's the setup, yeah. Because yeah. we know that the BCs work very well because yeah, we've yeah. already done a few laps previously. Uh, the tyres as well. These are the Accelera 651 Sports. I've literally just taken it off the trailer because I'm an idiot and done maybe two miles around the roads and then gone on the Nürburgring and expected everything to be fine because I'm an idiot. Have it we was not the fine. Have checked pressures in these yet? Well, we have checked the pressures and, um, after and we know- After the lap. After the lap. And we know that the rears were on 40 PSI and the fronts were on 38. I would say that was probably the entire cause of your issues. Yes, yes, it really was. Um, but you guys overtook me, I don't know, 10, 12 corners, something like that? I didn't count. It was kilometer, shortly before kilometer five. Out so of 20... Uh, 21, 20.832. So I managed a quarter of the Nürburgring. Kind of. But we were stuck in a bit of traffic. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will allow that. Okay. 
So do I get the moral victory? I think so. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take on this it. occasion, we will. Uh, well, I'll uh, take it. You take the victory because unlike the previous time Phil was on track, he didn't piss oil all over the track. Indeed, yes. We then tried to go and do a lap for your channel. What happened? <sighs> the Nürburgring happened. I yes. think fate is what happened. Yeah, Potentially. maybe. Potentially. Because I had like a GoPro's failing on me. So I think someone was telling us, do not go for a lap. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Let's. Uh, it, yeah. It was me. I actually organized it. Yes. It's actually page seven of the script as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nürburgring closes nice. at 6.42. Yeah, unfortunately, the track got shut right in front of us because there was a massive coolant spill from the YouTube corner, Brunchen, up until the very end. So yeah, unfortunately, it was for me the biggest disappointment of the year. Of the year? Well, Were the... you that excited to drive Phil? Yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, and now it's just like, it was the biggest cock block ever. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to see Misha driving Phil, because trust me, we did try, then leave a little comment below and, um, and we will make it so. So with fate stepping in and removing my lap with Misha, we had one more mission that we definitely weren't going to fail. Taylor, how's your PTSD? This place brings back a lot of memories. Yeah? We are in the building Leon's workshop where we fitted the engine in my Mini. Yes. And we've come back for a certain little piece, haven't we? Yes, well, big piece. A big, well, yeah, quite a big piece. We are collecting my original engine and we're going to bring it back to the UK. We're going to strip it down, mm -hmm. see what actually happened to it and then probably turn it into a table. Yes, although the V8 from the Jaguar is going to be the table. So maybe it could be like a side table. I think I'll probably have it as a table no, in no, my unit. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Up it up, gave it in the club, 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 gave it Right, go on then, bag it up. So the engine is still full of oil and coolant, so we're just going to pop it in a bag, a, a big Tesco bag. <laughs> Tesco bag. Alex, if you just lift it up. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Go on, girl. Wait, out. We need to stand it up, don't we? Because it's currently on its side. Yes. Do we want it on its side? No. 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 It'll piss all of its. Yeah, but we've got it in a plastic bag. Yes, but the bag will yeah, break. The bag oh many oh shit. my god. Oh, quick, lift it up. Lift it up right, quick. <laughs> oh no, it's put no, 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 Oh no. no. Oh god. Oh god, did we put it? Oh, oh my god. Get yeah, tissue. Tissue. You lot. Oh god. <laughs> Right, let's... You lot are f idiots. I literally said, do you want to drain the oil beforehand? And then Taylor's like, no, everything's going to be fine. Rory, Rory, this is the reason that we have Big Pete. Because he gets a little bit scuffed up and a little bit it's messed up. They're, they're scuffed up and they're just being absolutely moronically stupid. You shut your mouth. I don't like your tone of negativity, Rory. You, you two are f Rory, idiots. just for that, you're going to be driving back with me in Phil. No. <laughs> No. Can we get some more tissue, please? I'll get some tissue. You do realise there are seats underneath there, and you're going to stain them with oil, which will then devalue no, 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 your. The bag, you're you're, you're going to wait. Wait. Let me phrase this in the only way you understand. You are losing probably about five hundred pounds by doing this. Five hundred pounds. What have you done here? I got you some tissues. 